Now, this story made the news in Tarek's hometown, which prompted him to send an email blaming the whole thing on someone else, his identical twin. But here's the thing, he doesn't have an identical twin. The twin picture and story was intended to be a complete sarcastic joke. I just completely fabricated and photoshopped a photo of two of me and lied, jokingly. I mean, it's obviously being sarcastic because the photo looks clearly fake saying that I have a twin, and you can tell by my whole tone of voice I'm being funny. I have a twin, he's the horny one. One of us may be dead, one isn't. Obviously I'm lying. If I was a pathological liar, I would have made the photo look way more real. You have a very unusual sense of humor oh, if know. that's your idea of funny. Oh, I know. So you're, you say that your livelihood is on the line, your reputation is on the line, that you were even suicidal for a couple of hours, that your friends who believe you, you say, people that know me believe me, but then you say in the same breath that they blocked you and distanced themselves from you, but that yet they believe you. So I, That's been taken care of. I, I don't know which, which it is. One of them's a lie and one of them's the truth, and I can't tell which one it is I'm supposed to believe. Yes. But then you invent this twin and say, He's the horny one. Well, if I did have a twin, he'd be the horny one because I'm not over-sexualized and this is not me. You, okay, you, but I'll explain why I did this you, you, you sent one and said, if this happened, it was my horny twin, not me. Yes. I, so. If this happened. And you said it's just a joke. That's a real knee slapper. I, You'd be I, surprised. I had some friends even text me saying they were rolling on the floor laughing because they could tell I was being sarcastic and yeah, just I'm, tired of I'm this I'm still reporting. in my chair. I get it. Yeah, I'm not rolling. You'll get it tomorrow. Oh, okay. I wasn't trying to actually get, I did not expect anyone to believe this by any means. I'm not a pathological liar. It's not like I didn't fabricate fake birth records or anything to that extent. Define that for me. Pathological yeah, I, liar. Yes, I did not. Define it for me. What is a pathological someone liar? Someone who you? relentlessly lies, believes their lies, lives their lies. I, wasn't not even, I was not even trying to get anyone to believe this for a split second or expect anyone to. So a pathological liar is someone that just relentlessly lies and expects people to believe them and then believes their own lies, that in, by your definition. I think, but please clarify. Well, me. no, I'm just, I'm wondering how you use the term. It, the way you use the term, it does seem to kind of fit. So did Tarek actually go so far as to fake his own death in a bid to escape the glare of the media? He wants a chance to clear that up. I'm gonna ask him the hard questions because he wants an opportunity to set the record straight. Well, hey there, thanks so much for watching. And while I have you, do you have a story or a question for me? If so, I do wanna hear from you. Click on the link in the description and tell me what's going on. You just might end up right here with me on the show. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Click that little red button below. You know you want to. What are you waiting for? Do it!